Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is our second episode in the course Better Than Airbnb that I'm releasing on a weekly basis free to my subscribers. Just a reminder that after this unit's over, I'll be taking down the videos and only those who have paid for the course will be able to see it. So hey, it would be super awesome if you could share it with your friends, other developers who might be interested in the course, so they can watch along for free as well. So enjoy the second lesson of Better Than Airbnb. Welcome to Unit 1, Lesson 2 of Better Than Airbnb, a Ruby Thursday course. I'm your host, Melissa Wanish. In this lesson, we'll be going over the key features of Agile development that we're using in the process of creating this app. Then we'll also go over the user stories we'll be using to actually build this app. Let's get started. Agile software development is a group of software development methods in which requirements and solutions evolve through collaboration between self-organizing cross-functional teams. It promotes adaptive planning, evolutionary development, early delivery, continuous improvement, and encourages rapid and flexible response to change. So all that says is that we're making software flexible and easy to change because things change, requirements change. When you build a piece of software, when people start using it, there's definitely changes that happen. Once you get feedback, you want it to be able to be flexible. And even as you start developing something, once you see how the different pieces go together, you may change your mind on what is more important. We're gonna use this as a general philosophy throughout the course. That's why there is a concentration on testing and why I'm going to go through these user stories and the real flow of how something would be developed in the real world, whether you are at a full-time job doing this or you're doing client work. Let's move on to a key principle in agile development, which are user stories. A user story is a tool used in agile software development to capture a description of a software feature from an end user perspective. The user story describes the type of user, what they want, and why. A user story helps to create a simplified description of a requirement. So here's a little format. As a type of user, I want some goal so that some reason. This helps keep the focus on how people are going to use your software and not just what the software does. That helps keep you from writing code that you don't need because you're always focused on what the user is going to do. Let's take a look at an example for our Better Than Airbnb site. As a guest, I want to pay for a booking with a credit card so that I can stay at that location. It's as simple as that. It's just taking bits and pieces of the broad scheme and making them into concrete stories so that you can act on them. I'm gonna keep track of all these stories on Pivotal Tracker. That's just one tool that has been created to help with this user story agile development flow. Now you could do it any other way. There's Trello or just putting post-its up on a wall. That's how this idea got started. The main point is that when you're developing an app and potentially a huge project, you want to take it down to its smallest pieces and work on them in a certain order that makes sense because things that come later might change. I'm gonna divide these stories up into three categories, backlog, current, and done. Here we are in Pivotal Tracker, and I've already set up the project better than Airbnb, and I have set up my list that usually comes with an ice box, and I'm not gonna use that today. So let's go ahead and add our first story. I'll just copy paste in the story we just went over. And then this is not a full tutorial on Pivotal Tracker, but a couple of things I'll be using will be labels. I'm gonna label this as guest. And then you can see there are ways to break out your stories even further. I'm gonna estimate how big a story this is. So I'm gonna guess that it's two right now, that it's not super easy, but it's not super hard. I'm gonna assign it to myself, although I am the only one on this project, but if there are more people, you'd assign it to someone. And now let's save. 
Pivotal Tracker will go ahead and push the first stories into current because one of the features of Pivotal Tracker is that it tries to help you keep pace with what you need to get done. And we'll do some magic with editing and voila! Here are all the stories that I have written going through the different requirements that I have put together for this app. And you can see that it has a couple in our current and then the backlog it fills up and we'll see all the things with hosts and guests. This is in the order for the course, what we'll be working on for each lesson. During the course, I will come to this page and I will see what do we need to do next. And I will use these cards to inform what I should write in my commit messages. It also feels really good to hit that done button and move everything into that column. That's it for our second lesson in Better Than Airbnb as we start setting up all the tools we need in order to complete the app. Thanks so much for watching. If you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and click that big red button so you can subscribe. And if you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com by clicking that big ruby and you can sign up there. I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys, so let me know what you're thinking. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.